neighborhood network is essential in modern day society as it ensures smooth and timely transportation of goods and people, thereby enhancing economic growth. In view of this, the Prince Dapo Abiodun led government has continued to construct and complete several kilometers of roads across the state to further stimulate economic activities by creating safe environment for businesses to thrive, which invariably will improve quality of life of the people. Governor Abiodu, since assumption of his second term in office, has not relented in his quest to make regular movement easier for both rural and urban dwellers. Recently, he commissioned the first phase of the 21km Iboru Imashai Ayeto Road in Yewa North local government area of the state. This new road will significantly improve the movement of people and farm produce in the axis. Speaking during the road commissioning, Governor Biodu emphasized the crucial role of infrastructure in the development of the agricultural sector. It's definitely another remarkable moment in the annals of our developmental drive in the state. We continue to work tirelessly. We continue to be a responsive, inclusive, and participatory administration to ensure that we deliver the needed infrastructure across all the nooks and cranny of this beautiful state. We are here witnessing this completion and commissioning of this road that is the first phase of a two-phase project that was conceived about two and a half to three years ago. We all recall that just before our election, we were commissioning a project, particularly a road, almost every week. But because of the electioneering process, we had to put a pause to that. And I'm super excited that following the success of our elections and my swearing in, that given me the grace and privilege to be the governor of the state, once again, I am resuming the commission we put yet right here in Yomana. This underscores the importance that I personally and my decision by extension places on this very important central district. Well, I promised in the administration, when I assumed office, I promised that we will not develop any part of this state at the expense of another. The governor said the road project will be divided into two phases. To show, you know, and demonstrate commitment and strength of purpose, let us divide the road into phases and let us complete the first phase. That will convince everyone that indeed we are sincere and we are committed to ensuring that we provide the needed infrastructure across this corridor. So today we are here to commission the first seven kilometers, which is phase one. That starts from. Imashai Iboru to just before um, Igor Ikuto. Now, we are going to also, by the same token, not just commission this road, but by the same token, flag off the second phase of this road that goes all the way to Aito. Abiodun further reiterated his administration's unwavering commitment to providing necessary infrastructure across the states. We are a promise keeping administration and we will continue to ensure that we keep all our promises. On my way here from Abekuta, I rode through the Taoshi to this intersection. As soon as I got here, I asked my Twitter person, I said, How many kilometers is this road? Bearing in mind that this is yet another federal road amongst so many federal roads that we have in the states. Agbara Atom is a federal road. Ila Rowood is a federal road. Shagamabu is a federal road. Ebe Ijebudi is a federal road. Among so many, Papalandu 
to interact with the federal road. Among so many other federal road, Shagamu, Abekuta, Ota is also a federal road. Among so many other federal roads, but this road is very key to us. Sakon has been a person who has said this road will not allow us to derive the full benefit of this road that we are doing from the Masha to We have to do something about it. And I want to make that pronouncement today that the instructed that Minister of Works immediately come here and come and do an assessment of the road from Itaoshi to Ibu Road. We will divide that road, we will divide that road into phases, maybe two or three phases, and we will begin the immediate reconstruction of that road. Towards making the state the food basket of the nation, Prince Abiodu also disclosed plan to embark on 20,000 hectares of rice plantation in the area. This will be the third road commissioning in Yorland. This administration has commissioned more roads in Yorland than any government in the last 16 years. Without a shadow of doubt, Yorland, Yorland is very important to me personally and by extension administration this land is the bread basket of this state and the provision of needed infrastructure is our priority and is very key to ensuring that we tap and maximize the potentials of ensuring that this Yewa land remains the breadbasket of this state. Yewa North and Imeko are known for their agricultural potential. And one of my legacies will be to leave these local governments and have them defined as truly the bread basket of not just this state, but this nation. I have called the head of service and I spoken to Kabe Sirio of Bilaru that should challenge all our traditional rulers in this area. We are looking for about 20,000 hectares of land. 20,000 hectares of land. We want to turn this part of Yewa into the rice capital of Nigeria. We already have the investors that have the resources to turn this place into the rice development and rice processing center in Nigeria. And I'm deeply committed to that, as that will be one of the legacies of administration. So I'm now throwing it back at you or to you. Government is not putting a time into it. Government will be providing an enabling environment for the investors to go and turn this place into the rice capital of Nigeria. In his welcome address, the special advisor works on infrastructure, engineer Ade Akinsoya said the project was aimed at improving transportation system in Yewa North to boost economic activities and enhance overall standard of living for residents in the area. We are here to commission the phase one of the Iboru Imashai Ayetoro Road. The total length of the road to Ayetoro is 21 kilometers in length and will be uh, have a width of 8 meters. The phase one we are commissioning today is seven kilometers, which has been completed and been commissioned today. The reconstruction of phase two will soon commence. Phase one is a single carriageway which passes through Iboru, Imashai, Ajano, Ikosi Village, Junction. This is another way through which His Excellency, the governor of Ubu State is making a huge impact in the life of people of the state. This, is, this also points to the fact that His Excellency has the interests of all the people of the state at heart and is upgrading the infrastructural facilities in the three senatorial district. 
the road was in bad shape before its reconstruction. Now that the road has been reconstructed, it will bring support to the residents of the surrounding communities and mitigate flooding, which was initially common within the area. It will also enable smooth transportation of farm produce, commuters, and motor motorists from the area and vice versa. In their various remarks, some of the traditional rulers spoke at the ceremony. The Olu of Ilaru and Paramount ruler of Yewa land, His Royal Majesty Obake Indiolu Benle, expressed his gratitude to the governor for his interest to improve in road infrastructure in the local government area. Uh, Similarly, the Olu of Imashai is Rare Highness Obakuye Olamilikon and the Aburu of Iboru, Oba Abayomi Salako, praised the governor for his visionary leadership and commitment to the development of their communities. This road, we sincerely appreciate it because in the recent years, the road has been very, very deplorable. But for you to have thought it was that, let me go and rehabilitate this. See, you know. I'm also thanking you. Under 24 hours, we had a problem on this uh, Agabuta Ilaro road. Under 24 hours, you fix the road. Not because you are, you, are, you are coming today. If you leave today, are you going to remove all the palettes you put on that road? You are not. I am being proactive and I'm saying the fact. If you deserve something, it was a dealing to you. I don't care how anybody says it. What I'm saying is, I thank you, I really appreciate you. And I pray to God Almighty to give you the grace to continue and finish the good work we have started. In our own contribution, the Yaloja General of Ogun State, Al Aja Yemisi Abbas, thanked the governor for the rescue, adding that the road would impact socioeconomic activities of your land. <laughs> Some of the indigents expressed their excitement about the road construction. <laughs> Neglected, impossible. It was dangerous because because of the state of the road. You see, miscreants, they were here. It was not safe. You could not pass it in the night or in the day. You were just fearful. And despite that fact, we were risking our lives because there's no that alternative route except this one. And if I can remember, the last time this road was fixed was during the regime of Shiv Oshoba. So happy, so satisfied. Because that God not can even remember us to do it to this extent. I have assurance that the remaining will be completed. We have to be thankful for even remembering us, for even starting it at all. If you had gone this way, I have assurance that you will finish the rest. You cannot lie. And then, See, there's no way we will even say we will not finish. We never, we never forced him. He promised that he was going to do it. And on his own accord, he made the promise real. And today we are commissioning it. So I know the rest part of it that is from Ibo Koto to Ayeto. He will finish it. I have that assurance. Apparently, Ogun State Government remained committed to developing critical infrastructure, such as roads, in the crucial step towards promoting the economic growth and development in the state. The improved road network would facilitate smooth vehicular movement, making transportation easier and more accessible, especially to businesses, as well as reduce money spent on repair of vehicles. Igbega Ekmile Ogun, Ajoshi Bubuan.